Hi guys, and welcome to the first year of my art A-level portfolio. So oftentimes with my sketchbook tour videos, I get a little bit too focused on showing you each individual page of my sketchbook. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an outline of my project to date, as well as discussing the broader creative issues that I've been tackling this year. Imagine you're in the bath at home. Suddenly the door opens and in pours 15 men wearing immaculate grey uniform. They start to dismantle everything you see. The door, the sink, the toilet, the mirror. The walls all fall away abruptly, revealing a restaurant around you. What you thought was your bathroom was actually an elaborate set. This was a dream that I had in December 2019 when my brain was trying to process all of this stuff that had happened to me. I quickly became interested in the subconscious and how our minds actually work. And I wanted to explore this in my art project, inspired at first by the work of Gregory Crudson. He's this photographer that creates elaborate sets of huge budgets to bring his visions to life. And this quote really spoke to me. My pictures must first be beautiful, but that beauty is not enough. I strive to convey an underlying edge of anxiety, of isolation, and of fear. I'll put a few of my favourite images by him on screen right now, but I think you can clearly see how this jump-started my project. There's just something about the eerie, dreamlike quality of these images that really spoke to me and also reminded me of the dreams that I'd been having. So moving forward, I became increasingly interested in the real and the fake of the photographic process, and I stumbled across the photographer Nan Golden. Now, Nan Golden is pretty much the antithesis to Gregory Crutzen in her working practices. For her, it was really a sin to move a beer bottle out of the way because it had to be exactly what it was. Her images are more about documenting the moment, documenting the mood, and her ideas were a real mindset shift from me, from trying to document the visuals of a dream to trying to document the feeling of a dream. This led me to Photoshop together my paintings with my reference photos, again toying around with this idea of the real and the fake in art. My project became more about the manipulation and the distortion of images and trying to create something that was overwhelmingly abstract, but as you zoomed in, then you saw more of the details, some staircases, some windows, some doors. This was more about trying to convey the feeling of dreams, the feeling of bewilderment. From here, I made the leap into 3D, inspired by Bert Simon's origami heads, an obscure reference I know, but I really thought this medium would give me the chance to have a lasting impact on the viewer. It's not just a pretty image on the page, it's something that's jumping out at you from the wall. And I used lots of hot glue and lots of foam board to explore the idea of fragmentation here. And again, this is turning to the more cerebral nature of this project. Like, what actually is going on in my mind? <laughs> To try and answer this question, I turn to automatism. And to quote the Tate website, automatism refers to creating art without conscious thought, accessing material from the unconscious mind as part of the creative process. Just as dreams explore the subconscious mind, so does this process. Sigmund Freud actually used a lot of free association and automatic drawing with his patients. And so I thought if I got a better understanding of my subconscious, then I would be able to explore my original inspiration of dreams in more detail. And I was less interested in exploring automatic drawing. I'm not much of a pen and ink person myself, but I gave my hand at automatic painting and I loved the results. This triggered me to think more about how far can artists be removed from their work. Inspired by the drawing machines of Cameron Robbins, I used my joints as pivot points, making really broad gestural marks on A0 paper, actively trying not to use my conscious mind to just feel with my subconscious. This led me to using the more designery side of my brain to make drawing machines of my own. I felt like a lot of what I'd done had been very joyous, very colourful, vibrant and happy, and I wanted to make it more dark, exploring the more industrial side of machines, child labour, inspired by Lewis Wickstein's photography of the Industrial Revolution, I wanted to make something sinister. So for one of my final pieces, I ended up making this marble run out of scrap metal parts. And for me, the most important thing about this installation was the sound. Just listen.
I also loved its industrial architectural feel and I made a series of prints inspired by Al Zitsky, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, <laughs> exploring this. I was also planning on making a series of small scale sculptures and mobiles using motors to make something that really span and morphed in front of your eyes but unfortunately my project was cut short by coronavirus. I'm currently isolating at home doing online school as I'm making this video but I feel like this side of the course was definitely a journey filled with imaginative leaps. I went in thinking I was going to do one thing and it morphed into another and I definitely think that exploring my mind and my subconscious has enabled me to learn more about myself not only as an artist but as a person and for that I am incredibly thankful to myself in December 2019 for coming up with that series of surreal dreams. I am actually killing two birds with one stone in this video. Not only is it gonna go on YouTube, but I'm also gonna edit it differently <laughs> without all of the self-deprecating jokes and send it into my exam board because due to COVID, no examiners can come and look at portfolios and sketchbooks. So this is definitely a bit more of a serious personal video, a little bit more intellectual than maybe I make on this channel. But all the same, I really, really hope that you enjoyed listening to me babble on about my art in such a ridiculously great detail. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It's free <laughs> and have an amazing day. I'll see you next time.